Hello everyone, and welcome to... What's that video game tune? Episode 5. This is the show where I give you 10 different video game tunes. I give you 30 seconds of each, and you have to guess which tune it is. The main idea is that you know which series it's which game it's from. If you just know the series, that's okay as well. But if you can go into more detail as to what the tune is called, or where it plays in this specific game that it's from then that's even more awesome. Please post all of your, um, all the things you think the tunes are in the comments below, and we will get started with tune number one. By the way, there is a theme for this episode. All these themes are, in their own way, epic sounding. Let's start. Tune number one. Transcending history and the world, a tale of soul and swords, eternally retold. That was tune number one. We are going to move on to tune number two. That was the second tune. With tunes like this, you just have to turn the volume up a bit, don't you? Tune number three. Here we go. We're going on to tune number four. And it's tune number five next. and number six. We're going on to tune number seven.
platoon in number eight. I say this is student number nine. By the way, this is student number nine. And then finally is tune number 10, and as I always do with these uh, lists in What's That Video Game Tune? The final tune is always the one out of the 10 which I feel is the most obscure. The one I feel least the least amount of people will know. So, extra credit for you if you know this one. Those were all ten tunes. What you, what I ask of you now is to write in the comments if you haven't done so already. What you think each of the ten tunes are. If you don't have a clue, just say put question mark or say I don't know. If you want to have a random guess as to what the series is, even though you don't have a clue, go ahead. I don't mind. And uh, for the ones that you feel you do know, be as detailed as you can about it. If you haven't finished that yet, pause the video now and do so, because I am going to continue with uh, this video by revealing what each of these ten tunes are. Let's start with the first. Transcending history and the world. A tale of soul and swords, eternally be told. Soul is in the title. This is the opening tune for Soul Edge. Before I made this list, I'd never heard of the opening. I just went through some game openings, some game tunes, some epic video game tunes. Came across this one, and I really liked this. I was like, I want it on this list. Theme number two. I really just want to turn the music up here. We're going Mega Man. We're going Mega Man Zero Four. There's a tune known as Max Heat, and I really like this one. And I think some people will have gotten. Number three, almost right, but maybe not completely. I think that some people will have gotten the name right, but they put it with the, with the wrong game. I think some people will think F-Zero for this. And in a way, you're right, because this is Mute City, a tune from F-Zero. However, this is a remix using a Wii U game known as Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8's new city track. This is a tune that plays during the course. And now, we can't have a list without a Pokemon tune, can we? 
Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal, the Kanto Gym Leaders. Brock, Misty, Lieutenant Surge, Erica, Janine, Sabrina, Blaine, and Blue. I really like this remix of the theme. I was very happy that... Well, I just really liked hearing the theme when I fought against all these gym leaders in Pokemon Crystal. Number five is a tune that I never heard before, well, heard before I started making this list. But I really liked it, so I really wanted it on the list. Xenoblade Chronicles. A tune known as Engage the Enemy. quite different from good amount of the other tracks because if you say epic sounding it's like boss battle and like really like the sort of metal rock things this is not that but it, it does have in its own way really epic sound which I really like number six the build up in this it may not be the my favorite boss of this specific video game which by the way it is one of my favorite video games of all time but the build up in this Music. I so like this. He's scary. He's gonna grab ya. Smog from Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. When you're on your way in the XS Express on the way to, po to partially heights for the sixth star, then yeah. This guy is gonna stop you on on the tracks, on your tracks, quite literally, because you're on a train, on train tracks. <laughs> All right, number seven. We're going to the Dragon Ball universe for this one. Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Don't actually know the official name for this tune. I just know it's the thirteenth track of the uh, Xenoverse soundtrack. By the way, this artwork looks really cool. I really like this artwork. Number eight. I think I should have done the intro first. Yeah. <laughs> there uh, is a contradiction in your testimony. You say that you went there at 10:35. However. With snow having fallen just before it, there would have been bleh, there would have been footsteps left in the snow for us to see. There were none. So the answer is clear: it was you. You burned her. Although it might not technically have any burning. Although, well, there was burning. Yeah, the two characters were burned. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. This is the cornered theme in, for most of the game, known as Cornered Spellbreaker. I never played a Professor Layton game before this, neither had I played a Professor, um, a Phoenix Wright game before this, but especially the Phoenix Wright games I really wanted to play, and this just seemed like a game I really wanted to play, and oh my god was it good. I was just so gripped with the story that I finished it in like two or three days. Generally, with the game, I take at least a week to finish it. If I sh slowly exploring everything, this with this game, I was just so gripped to the story that I just had to play it, had to finish it. Went to bed late because I wanted to play it a lot. Played it on the way to and from school in the train. It was crazy. I really finished this quite quickly, but I really love this game. Recommendation if you play either of the games, especially Phoenix Wright, especially because it's really the story that really gripped me. That's more than the Phoenix Wright, but. It's, it's awesome. By the way, picture. Forgot that. Uh, tune number nine. We have a boss battle theme here, and um, no, no, I'm not actually gonna make you listen to a lot of it, because I'm gonna give you an extra hint, I suppose, with a tune in it, but actually a cutscene from the game this tune is from. It's uh. I give you an extra hint as to what game it's from. Maybe you'll recognize it. And um, 
I suppose the, this scene doesn't necessarily have the tune in it, but um, maybe you recognize this guy? My favorite boss of the game. You are an interesting one indeed. Such powers unleashed by anger alone. But they will not avail you. The frozen winds of Hell's Ninth Circle could not penetrate this cloak of flame I wear. Come, I will heal your wounds. Face me at full strength. And then you enter the battle with a Ruby Conte. This guy is pretty darn dangerous. This is Final Fantasy IV from the Nintendo DS. Yes, it was an older game, but this is the remake, and this is the boss battle tune for that game. It didn't necessarily play during this scene, but I just really like the boss battle and this theme, so I did really want to show it off. Especially the, um, I will come, I will heal your wounds, face me at full strength line. I believe that's somewhat of a famous line, um, which I definitely remember hearing. So, uh, yeah, I've never officially fully finished that, I'm still at the final dungeon, so... Yeah. Uh, we have one final tune left. The most obscure one. It's a game I played this time. And I really like the theme. This is a final boss theme. Of a game about fossils. You have to revive them, and then they turn into vivisaurs. But like dinosaurs, but slightly different, I suppose. This is the final boss theme for Fossil Fighters Frontier. Wait, wait. Crikey, mate. Got me diggery all warmed up to play some Waltz and Matilda for you. I'm not even going to attempt the accent because the last time I tried I really failed. So, uh, yeah, this is one of the characters in the game. You don't see him too often, but I just found it really funny that he speaks like that. Anyway, this is Fossil Fighters Frontier, a game for the Nintendo 3DS. Which I saw for a few a few times in like the the store, um, while walking by, and I thought it was interesting. We never really bought it, but I, after a while, I was like, I'm looking for a new game to play, and I remember that game, and I played it, and I, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun playing Fossil Fantasy Frontier, and that final boss, I beat him in one try, but he was really really difficult. So uh, yeah, I have good memories of playing that game. Okay then, those were the 10 tunes I will be able to check in the comments, but you can let me know in the comments as well how many you got right, how many you got close to. And I hope you're looking forward to, what's that video game tune? Episode number 6. I will see you there. Goodbye.